Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to deal with linear equations and graphing lines. Oh, what fun! Now let's see what Charlie's up to. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? What? what? Today we're going to do your favorite subject. That is linear equations and graphing lines. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Charlie over there, you know, every time I say graphing lines, he has, goes into a little anxiety thing because... You know, he's not worried about that, but don't worry. Graphing lines will be easy. We just got to work at it so we can get better. Okay, Charlie, ready to graph some lines? <sighs> okay, well, here we go. Now, let's go ahead and list our first linear equation right there. Okay, we have x plus y equals 5. Now, remember, we're, we're trying to find an x and a y that sum up to 5. In other words, we're looking for two numbers that sum up to 5, right? Okay, and normally what we do is we make a little table here, okay, and remember we're looking for these ordered pairs. So, Charlie, well, let me start you off here. Suppose x equals 5. We'll go ahead and put that up there. What does y have to equal, Charlie? Zero. Zero. Very good. And that right there will give us our first ordered pair, 5 comma 0. Remember, that means x equals 5, y equals 0. Okay, Charlie, give me uh, two more numbers that sum to 5. What would you say? 4 and 1. Okay, 4 and 1. x equals 4 and y equals 1. And that will give us our ordered pair 4 comma 1. Okay, Charlie, notice, notice there's a pattern there with the x's. The x's go 5, 4, and what's the next x value, Charlie? 3? 3, very good. And notice the y's go 0, 1, what would the next y value be? 2. 2. And we notice 3 plus 2 equals 5. So. That pattern in the x's, notice the x's are decreasing by 1 as you go down, and the y's are increasing by 1. There's a pattern there, and that pattern will be referred to as slope. When we get there a couple sections down, we'll be talking more about slope, but we can see that pattern showing up in our table here. Now, Charlie, give me two more numbers that uh, sum up to 5. 0, 5. Okay, x equals 0, and y equals 5. Now that gives us our ordered pair. 0, 5, okay? There we go. So now, let's go on. What we're going to do now is we're going to get to uh, the graph. So let's go ahead and put our grid up, and let's start plotting some points. So first, what we're going to do, when you plot points, remember you start at the origin where the x and y axis cross, and we're going to plot the 5, 0 first. Now, if we start and we go to the right to plot the x, and y, ordered pair 5, comma 0. We start at the origin and we're going to move right 5 and we have nowhere to move with the y because it's 0. So here we go. 5, 0. Oh, yeah. And there it is. Okay. Now we don't have to move. So let's go to our next point here. 4, 0. Now remember four. with this, we have to go right 4. Okay. Then we have to go up 1. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. There's our point there. All right, Charlie, let's go to our next one here. Let's do 3, 2, Charlie. So tell us how to move from the origin. We're at the origin. We move which way? 3 to the right. Right, 3. So there we go, over there. And then we move up 2. Up 2. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, we got one more point, and that'll be the uh, 0, 5, right? x equals 0 now. We're at the origin. We don't move anywhere. We simply have to move, which way, Charlie? Up five. Up five. There we go. Okay. And all we have left to do now is do what, Charlie? Draw the line. Connect the line. That's right. We'll connect all the dots, and we'll go ahead and draw our line. There it is. And we're done with that line. So that one wasn't too bad. So let's step it up a bit and take on a, a little bit more complicated linear equation. Okay, here we go. 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, Charlie, this gets a little trickier here. Now, Charlie, remember when we graph these lines, we're graphing on a grid, and we want to choose x and y values that basically fall on our grid. Like, we don't want to choose x equal 1,000, because otherwise we have to draw an x-axis that goes all the way to 1,000. We don't want to do that. No. We usually want to pick relatively small numbers so that we can plot these points on our grid. And we don't want any fractions either, so... I'm going to help you out, Charlie, and I'm going to choose a value for you. I'm actually going to choose a y value for you. 
and I'm going to choose y equals zero. Okay, there we go. Okay, now your job, and you guys at home, you have to find the x value that goes with that y equals zero. So basically, you take your linear equation there, 2x minus 3y equals 6, and you're going to plug in y equals zero. So go ahead and do that, and you're going to work that out. So y equals zero, remember, 3 times zero will cancel out, become a zero. Okay, bring down your work. That gives you 2x equals 6, right? Now to solve for x, Charlie, what do we need to do? Divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. So here we go. New line, divide by 2. 2's cancel. Okay, Charlie, what does that give us for x? x equals 3. x equals 3. Very nice. So what is our ordered pair, Charlie? Remember, I gave you the y value equals 0, and now we solve for x, and x came on to the 3. Remember the ordered pair, x first, and then the y, like alphabetical order. Charlie, what's the ordered pair now? 3 comma 0. 3 comma 0. So we'll go ahead and put that in our table there. 3, 0 there. Okay, let's go to the next one, Charlie. Choose our x value for us. 0. x equals 0. That's a good choice. Hopefully we don't get any fractions, but we'll check it out. Okay, here we go. So there's our equation there. We'll plug in x equals 0. Right? Okay, those the 2 times 0 is 0, so that basically disappears. 0 minus 3. 0 subtract 3y is a negative 3y. Negative 3y equals 6. Right, Charlie? Okay, how do we solve for y, Charlie? What do we do to both sides? Divide by negative 3. Divide by negative 3. Very nice. Okay. We divide by negative 3. And that gives you y equals what, Charlie? Negative 2. Negative 2. So remember, Charlie chose the x, and we solved for the y value, and our y value came out to be negative 2, giving us our ordered pair 0, comma, negative 2. Okay, x equals 0, y equals negative 2. And we'll go ahead and put that in our table there. Okay. Now, it gets a little tougher here, because now, how do we know what to choose for our next value? Well, this works out relatively nice in that we can look at our table here and notice a pattern here. X's go 3, 0. Okay, Charlie, what would the next X value be if you go 3, 0? What would the next X value be, Charlie? Negative 3? Negative 3. Okay. So we're actually using this concept of slope, looking at that pattern there to help us find another X value to choose. So we'll go ahead and try that. Let's choose X equal negative 3.